today I want to talk about five math workbooks that are for approximately fifth grade. These are from different companies and they are at various levels of difficulty. I'm going to go from least expensive to most expensive. This book from Evan Moore, which is Daily Math Practice for Fifth Grade on Christian Book Distributors today is $5.99. Now, it is $5.99 and it does not offer the solutions. If you want the book with the solutions on Amazon, it is $17.39. The way this is set up is each week you have different problems for every day. So for day one, you have five problems, day two, five problems, day three and four, five problems. And then on day five, you have more of a critical thinking problem or word problem, something like that. And then you go on to week two. And so this is very much of a spiral approach because you're going to be seeing the same type of problems over and over. And again, day one, five problems, day two, five problems. And you can see you have the word problems for the fifth problem for each of these days. And then on day five, it's more of a logic problem or some other kind of thought process. Each day you will touch on a variety of concepts. So for example, on week three, day two, you have subtraction and then you'll have fractions. This would be geometry and then a word problem. And so throughout the book, each week is, is set up the same way where days one through four are five problems and then day five is um, a couple of activities and this will take you through 36 weeks so 36 weeks five days a week and then just keep in mind there is not an answer key with this Evan Moore daily practice student practice book the answer key is included in the other book Singapore math has the 70 must know word problems this again is for grade 5 on Amazon today this is eight dollars and 99 cents the way this is set up is one word problem per page and then they give you space to do the work and then your answer key is in the back. These cover a variety of concepts. So you're going to see concepts like multiplication, division, fractions, but these are all word problems. If you are not utilizing Singapore math, then I would not recommend this book because these bar models are the way to get to the solution on a number of the problems. And if you don't understand the bar modeling method that Singapore teaches, then this would be an extremely difficult way to be introduced to it. Now, again, there are the answers. There is the way they obtain those answers on um, in the solutions portion of this book, but it is 70 must know word problems from Singapore. Next is Scholastics Building Real Life Math Skills. This is for grades three through five. With this workbook, you really are looking at real life scenarios. So what will happen is you have your scenario and then a little section for teaching it about what is going on. Then the next page contains your questions. So how much would the two movie tickets cost in all? And this answer would be based on different things like the ages and then also before noon, that is then a half price ticket. So this book does focus on real life scenarios. You always have your teaching page and then you have your um, practice page. It does include key math terms. So for example, here's estimate, round up, round down. So you will see those key math terms as well. There will be challenge questions in some of these, not all of them. It, will there be a challenge, but towards the end, there's definitely more challenge problems. They do have remember. So if you've seen something earlier, then they'll give you a hint a hint sometimes with these little remember blocks. And then at the end, you will have your answer keys, but there are no solutions that have been worked out. You simply have the answer. There is not how they obtained that answer.
Next, we have from Evan Moore, the Skill Sharpeners for Math. This is, again, is for grade five today on Amazon. This is $10.99. One of the first things that you notice that's different is this is in color. So this is the first workbook that we have come across that is in color. Now, this book is different in that it has activities versus just the problems. So you will see throughout the book, there are a variety of activities you're going to be able to do. They'll list the skills that they are focusing on here. So for example, this is identifying lines of symmetry. And over here is determining place value and rounding numbers to the millions. Now, I, there is no teaching with this one. It is simply the activities that you are able to do um, each day. And then at the end of the book, there is the answers. And then the last one that I want to look at is the Scholastic 40 Fabulous Math Mysteries That Kids Can't Resist. This is for grades four through eight. Today on Amazon, this one is $11.60. So this one is a little bit different than the others because you are being a detective. So at the beginning of the book, they have Meet the Detective. So this will tell you about the characters who are going to be in the stories. And then you go into the stories. So as you can see, this is reading comprehension that also has a math focus. So you'll have to read the story and then how did Emma and Will use Lump's advice to solve the CD collection crisis? So you'll need to answer that. And as you look through here, you can see this, how did, how did they solve this? So you're reading the mysteries and then you're looking to figure out how did they solve these? So this is, it combines really the reading comprehension as well as your logic. Now, as you proceed within the book, you can see that it goes from how did to what are the answers? In which state did the crook live? Which vehicle did they drive? So it's actually finding the answers versus just the how. And this will take you throughout the book. As you move on, it asks for your answer, but then how do you know? You need to provide what clues you use to be able to get to your solution. So this is a different type of workbook than the other ones that we've looked at because this is much more playing detective and figuring out how and why. And then you'll, and you'll need to use your math skills for that. Now at the end of the book, you will have teaching notes. And within these teaching notes, it tells you the math skills that you're utilizing for each of these mysteries, suggested solutions, and then specific teaching tips for that case. Again, this is $11.60 on Amazon right now.